All right, there we go. All right, so something happened, as the video title explains. Uh, this is MG Seymour again, coming back with another video that I've been thinking about doing for a while, but haven't uh, done because I just got it a second ago. Just got dropped off in the mail. What this is, is, uh, well, I'm not gonna lie, I'll tell, I'll tell the truth. I posted a 12 pack of knives video that I bought from Blade City a while ago, and uh, the knives, although were 100% worth the money, were not as flashy and special, uh, which is the reason why I shop at Blade City. It's the reason why I go uh, to Blade City and I don't go to any of these places and I don't go to the stores around my area here um, because Why not? I mean Blade City's got the best selection for the best prices. It's just it's the truth. It just is I've been buying knives for 15 16 years now and I'm sticking with this company as far as I know right now and I got that I, I sent an email out and talked about the packaging. I was concerned about the packaging. The packaging was weird because uh, it came in a strange box and it seemed like the post office just beat the thing to hell. So I just thought, eh, this, eh, this is weird. This is really weird. And sent them a message, reached out to them and said, hey, you guys need to check whichever post company is doing this. Well, they actually reached out. Meanwhile, the post office completely ignored not only my emails, but they also ignored the fact that it even happened in the first place. They only blamed uh, the distributor, and then they wanted to blame someone else, so that was just pointing fingers. Well, Blade City did not do that. They actually said they'll take full responsibility uh, and said, let's do this again. So here we are uh, one more time. This is going to be the 12-pack of knives uh, sitting next to me. Uh, that uh, I'm could not be more excited about. I have no idea what's in this box, um, but I'm sure it's going to be awesome. And this will be a genuine reaction since uh, it is taped closed still. So recap, recap. Last month's knife was pretty cool. Um, this was July's knife. Uh, it is a branded Smith and Wesson fold-out knife uh excellent for carrying i could see any construction worker military member police officer i could see anybody anyone carrying this knife it's so simple small and i feel like i could throw it and it would do more damage to the object i was throwing it at than it would do to itself whereas sometimes you get a knife that has maybe an abs plastic frame or maybe the little latch on it is loose no there are some very quality companies like Smith & Wesson and even MTech USA I've noticed has some pretty awesome knives uh, that are very well built. So I'm impressed with that. I'm just now getting into the knife game uh, and starting to really focus on brands and focus on names and different companies and sellers and trying to learn about as much as I can. So you all have been growing this channel. I'm at 50 subscribers. I made a joke a while back saying, hey, it's your boy 13 subscribers because I never thought I'd get past 20. And here I am at 50 now. So the channel keeps growing and so does my love for doing this. I'm gonna branch out in a whole bunch of different areas. I'm gonna start doing swords. I'm gonna start doing military stuff and also random tech. Um, Blade City is another good example of a company that just has a bunch of random random stuff on their site like a mace and like a zombie head that you hit with a mace and it explodes with goo everywhere fantastic it's awesome it's unnecessary but it's fantastic so why wouldn't you pay 180 bucks for that which i do plan on doing pretty soon because i mean it's awesome and it's also going to get really cold in the midwest so i'm running out of throwing knife time and zombie head smashing time so in the meantime i gotta get this box open because i'm I'm itching. I'm, I'm, I'm like an addict. I'm, I'm itching. So it's time to open this box. So sealed to the brim. Um, one of the things that the email specified uh, was that the packaging was not correct. And this one, this box was the correct box for the 12 pack, which I think is awesome. I love this laptop thing. It like it feels like I'm going to open it and there's going to be a whole bunch of like $100 bills or like drugs or something. 
but it's cool. This is a way to display knives. This not only looks professional, but it's different. I did I would did not expect to get something like this. But Blade City is known by their uh, boxes. They've got tactical boxes all over the place. I'll link examples in the description of it. And the boxes are super cool and they come with like a handful of things. To get something like this for the 12 pack of knives is above and beyond awesome. So I slashed the front of it so it's going to open like that. And I have no idea how these are going to be displayed. It could be like a pie with like a spring that comes out, but I doubt it. It's not. It wasn't a pie. Okay, a cool um, thanks for knifing with us from Blade City. So I'm probably thinking about cutting that out and maybe keeping that because that's pretty awesome. I've got a lot of stickers, one of them that I completely destroyed while opening a package on camera. I know you all saw that, it was sad. Uh, but either way, I do have a couple more stickers so I can start making this, um, I can start making this uh, different, definitely. So right on top right on top we've got uh, razor tactical um, I've seen a handful of razor tacticals in the past um, I think I have two so this will be my third one that I have um, I'm gonna do just a pile of knives on the floor uh, that's the probably the best way to do this so oh this is pretty this is awesome so, very early on, I said how cool it would be to get this version of this knife um, because it's it's fantastic. I used to have the one of this that um, was all black, and I actually sold that one, uh, and I'm glad I got this one because I think this one's the better of the two. I think this one is a lot cooler. So, one out of 12 cool got a colorful one i don't have many of those like rainbow color ones uh, there's a lot of like damascus steel ones and a lot of like super pretty different ones and my knife collection is actually kind of boring it's very like standard knives with the otfs and the butterfly knives and things and everything is very lined up and organized wow super cool um this is a uh from wartech this is a wartech karambit this thing is super cool. My brother has one of these, and I don't. So now I have one, and that is awesome. Uh, that's cool. So Vortex got, like, the tiger paint on the side here. Like, that's super cool. This is awesome. See, if I got something like this in a knife club, I would lose my mind. For $16, this thing would be fantastic. But getting it in the box is just as awesome. Uh, number three, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go from the top because a lot of these, as you'll see, are like the long bowies like this. So, um, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll, uh, you know, I'll put those like that. So, we've got buckshot knives for this one. Big, beautiful handle. So nice. This thing is a classic looking hunting knife. I love the handle. I love everything about this knife. I know I said I love everything about this knife because uh, I got doubles. The cool part about this though is that now one of these uh, can be turned around and sold uh, and uh, I am going to be able to buy another knife with the profit that I get from it. So that's cool. I. I'm a big fan, a big, big fan of uh, this handle. I think this is really cool. And I think uh, a lot of people would love to, to have something something like this in their collection or at least something to like pull out and cut logs or something. I don't know what outdoor stuff is. I actually, for a person that reviews knives and like tactical gear, I don't really do much outside stuff. I don't like the sunlight. Hence my blinding complexion. So uh, the next we got on top, ooh. This is super thin. This is the most thin box I've ever seen so far. This is super thin. I wonder what... Oh, what? Okay, it's another surprise. All right, it's like uh, it's like uh, one of those ones you attach to your leg. I mean, 
It's an S Tech, which I have a handful of different like folding S Tech knives, but never something like this before. This thing is awesome. This thing is super cool. I like this. I'm gonna do that later and probably hurt myself. Don't do that at home. And if you do, I didn't tell you to do it. Come back on the channel and read like, oh look, he didn't say to do it, which means you can't sue me for you stabbing yourself in the eye. Don't do that. It hurt a lot, especially with something as nice as this. Okay. M Tech. M Tech box. And it's a it's a big one. It's a big box. So oh and it's sealed. Huh. Interesting. So this M Tech is sealed in here. Alright, this thing is really, really sealed in here. Alright. Alright. This is actually an M Tech punch knife. This is fantastic. This is one of those um this is one of those knives that wrap around your hand like this um for uh punching uh targets and punching yeah paper targets and like fruit and stuff like watermelon as 2019 there's probably a watermelon activist group by now okay uh cantaloupe no one really likes cantaloupe you can stab cantaloupe with this this thing is awesome. I love this thing. I think this is the favorite so far just because it's so like little and just like dangerous looking for no reason. Yeah, very cool. Big fan there. Uh, uh, M tech slash S tech. Um, big fan. That explains like the fat box. Like that explains that more. Now it makes sense. Okay, so peanuts, packaging peanuts. Got a lot of those. So there's a lot in here. So the last thing, the last thing that's in here, and it's hilarious because it's actually the first thing I saw, and I thought, oh my god, I'm gonna have to do that one last time, because I do all these in one take. There's no redos for me. I actually did this, and I, I got to a minute, and you couldn't hear a thing because the AC unit was on. Ignore the barking dogs outside. The AC was on, and just blasting my speakers and whoever was using headphones was going to liquefy their brain and I wasn't going to be responsible for that so you're welcome it's silent in here and I'm sweating it feels like it's 3,000 degrees so the last thing that's in here is this viper tech box now it's the the the, the thing about viper tech is I have to say I did the $16 knife club months and months ago long time ago and my January knife of 2019 was this guy right here and this was my first viper tech knife and it's by far one of my best knives that i've gotten so awesome so when i see this symbol when i see this on the front of a package i know whatever it is is going to be fantastic so i'm going to pop this open and stop yapping and you all all you know handful of you watching are going to appreciate the hell out of whatever's in this package oh yeah 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 definitely oh man okay so <laughs> okay so blade city you guys play too much oh my god i know you guys are watching this video too because you watch the other ones this is insane. What even is this thing? I can't even speak in the third person anymore because I know they're watching me. They're always watching me. And I'm not careful about what I say. I'm telling you, I am genuine 100% of the way. So I'm genuinely saying, what the hell, Blade City? What is this? Oh my God. So it's a cleaver. Um, so it's a cleaver. Let me, uh, let me pretend that I'm not super hype about this thing so it is a it's heavy it's real heavy um i don't have a scale around here but maybe i'll put it in the like pinned comment or put it in, like my long description you just have to read through it all so uh it's heavy as hell it's so heavy and it's a it's a hard like plastic container so it's not like that uh like whatever fake leather material that they use uh, for the other stuff, it's not. It's actually like, it's like what you would see. It's like, um, it's the same as this one. So it's the same as this hard material. I don't know what that's called. Somebody, somebody comment, fix it in the comments. I don't know what it's called off the top of my head. But either way, this thing is heavy as hell. It's completely steel. It's gotta be completely steel. 
Uh, it feels like the, the blade actually goes all the way through the frame. I can see where the frame and the handle are folded. You can't see that on my awful camera, but it's definitely the blade is all the way through the center of that. Uh, I mean, it, and it looks it looks like it's just one solid piece of steel. I mean, this thing is heavy. This thing is relatively sharp. I mean, relatively sharp. I'm not going to gouge myself open on camera like a moron. Um, but I'm definitely going to go slay some cantaloupes later. That's for sure. Cantaloupes will be slain. Um, I may do a video. Give this video a like and a comment and sub if you want to see me kill cantaloupes with this giant hatchet. For every like I get, sub I get, and comment I get, I'll add up the three and we will kill so many cantaloupes together on camera because this thing is fantastic. Definitely glad I waited to the end to open this because I knew it was gonna be something insane. I just knew it was going to. And just like a firework show, you always need the finale. And that was an awesome finale. So, I believe, I believe what Blade City uh, is doing with this as far as like a correction, is um, I think they're saying that it doesn't have to be a, when you buy the like mystery pack of knives, it says like mystery 12 pack. But what they're saying is, is if you pay $130, I believe it's like 130 out the door. They're always doing coupons and stuff. So you just gotta go on their website and do like the email thing with them because they're always sending you coupons of like every single like holidays that don't even exist. They're like happy knife day. 50% off just for no reason and it's awesome because that's usually when I buy all my stuff either way uh, it's super cool to um, Lost my train of thought completely. I did get um, I have lemonade up here with me though So that's cool. I have lemonade and I don't usually do videos this long so and I don't edit So I'm not gonna cut anything out of it Everything I'm saying including this sentence right here that I'm not stopping myself from saying is going to be in this video Okay back on track I'm super excited about these knives. Um, you're gonna get $130. The first pack, 12 pack I got, I got $130 worth of knives. The second 12 pack of knives, not a 12 pack, way worth the money. Out of the knives, I would say total value, don't even think about resale value, because each of these alone would probably cost you about $30. So if you wanna math that yourselves, you can. But either way, you're absolutely going to get your money's worth here. The 12 pack, the mystery pack is fantastic. They also have a whole, a couple new like um, blades, like it's called Cricket, like K-R-K-T or something like that. I will post a comment in that because those knives are super cool. They're like $200. They're a lot. I'm going to save up for one, but they are super, super cool. Also, side note, while I'm rambling, um, I have a PSA for everybody out there. If you're going to buy beautiful knives from companies such as Blade City, don't bring them to the beach because I brought this thing to the beach because I always have a knife in my pocket. I just always have a knife in my pocket. And we went to the house and we got there, sat down, and not 10 minutes into it, sand got in here. And it screwed this knife up big time. I mean, it was bad. So I used uh, a couple cleaners. I took it apart painstakingly. Um, I sprayed each individual piece. Now this little back plate thing is loose because my Allen key is not small enough to reach this size hole. I don't know where my Allen key set went. Um, but either way, I put the thing back together, oiled it, cleaned it, kept it clean, and the knife is back now. So this thing is very durable. I, I second my so worth the money thing that I did earlier with this review because this knife is super super awesome um don't bring nice knives to the beach don't bring these to the beach don't bring these anywhere that your laws will not allow you to bring them but if you are on private property like i was don't bring something outside like this i'm mostly talking to myself in the camera right here as i'm recording and not talking to all of you but i'm hoping if there's one person out there who goes 
mm, maybe I'll leave the stiletto at home. Then I'm glad I saved your knife, sir, because this thing is too cool to let die. Either way, I appreciate the views. Uh, again, I'm totally on it with that cantaloupe thing. We'll kill some cantaloupes. Let me see some likes and subs. And we're going to kill some cantaloupes. I'm excited. I don't even need a sale. I'll go buy full-priced cantaloupes and we'll kill them together. I also need to do the throwing knife video. And I also have a handful of other videos, including a pretty awesome sword uh, that's sitting up on my uh, shelf up there. Which I also would like to do a at least a, like a 20-minute video about that sword because it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, either way, that is all for this video. I'm keeping this box because this box is awesome. Uh, and also, the knives are all 10 out of 10. Fantastic. Thanks again for the views. I'm going to go finish my lemonade and turn my air conditioner back on. See you.